Hey guys, welcome back to the Grace Posse Grace, uh, Grace Posse Daily Devotion. Today we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this study that we've been doing. So you call yourself a man. I would really like, and I, I mentioned this yesterday. I would really like to see some of your comments on how this has affected you, how it's changed you, how it's helped you, and anyway. Uh, the the settings on this page, this group page, is, is set to private. So when you share this, nobody outside, nobody that is outside this group, even your friends, cannot see the comments that you make. So uh, and it can't be shared. Uh, so you, if you want to share these videos, it's fine. You can click on the link from the YouTube and share it that way. But these comments made on this in this group and on the, for this group. Do not leave this group. So if you've got something you want to share, don't worry about uh, anybody else outside this group knowing about it. And if you wanted to share something with me directly, you could do that on Messenger. Or you can call me or talk to me at church or send me a text or whatever. I'm just hoping you guys are getting some good stuff out of this. Today we're going to wrap this up and we're going to talk about picking up your sick bed. Our scripture comes from Mark 2 verse 12. It says, And immediately he arose and took up the bed and went forth before them all in so much that they were all amazed and glorified God. Once the Lord had established himself as Lord over, the, over your spirit, he seeks to establish himself as Lord over your life. He anoints you, calls you, and leads you into service and gives you the strength and the energy to, uh, and ability to carry the very thing that once was m the mark of your sickness. <clears throat> Once Jesus had healed this man and raised him up from the from the bed, his, this man raised up the, his sick bed and carried it away. When this palsied man was forgiven and healed by Jesus, he had a bed, but the bed no longer had him. True deliverance is when you have control over the thing that once controlled you. You can control you can control your temper when once your temper ruled you. You can control your spending habits when once your lust for things had control over you. You can control your wandering eye that once always looking for another woman to conquer. Your problem may remain, but it isn't bossing you or controlling you. It isn't in control of you. You are in control of it. And to whom does the Lord often call you to minister? To the very people that have the very condition you were in before you were brought to Jesus. It is to do that it is to that person what your witness is the most effective because you can say with authority, I once was lost, just like you, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see. I was lying paralyzed and out of control in a sick condition, just like you, and now I am healed. Jesus made the difference for me, and he can, can and will make the difference for you. From what has God delivered you? To whom then is he calling you? So then we're going to end this with lift up your hands. <clears throat> And then it says, Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands to thy name. Psalm 63, 4. I have a young son, and when he was learning to walk, he didn't walk with his hands down by his side, but he had his hands raised straight up. That position apparently gave him a sense of balance he didn't feel when he had his hands down. When you raise your hands in praise, we find a new balance in our spiritual lives. We are better able to walk regardless of the circumstances that may be in our way or which direction our path takes. No matter how tired I might have been when I got home tonight, if my young son came, comes toward me toddling along with his hands raised in the air, I couldn't help but pick him up. Even if he was stinky, if his, he grinned at me with that cute grin of his, I had to pick him up. I'm his father, he's my son, 
and I couldn't help but pick him up and hold him close. The same for our Heavenly Father. He responds to our uplifted hands of praise. He picks us up. He carries us through the places that are too hard for us to walk through. He holds us close and whispers in our ear how much he loves us. No matter how stinky we may be in our sin, if we will only look to, toward him, he picks us up and, and reminds us that we're forgiven. He calls us son. You may be wounded, but you're still his son. You may be hurt, but you're still his son. You may be in sin, but you're still his son. He wants to lift you up. He wants to heal you so that you can lift up whatever it is that once held you down. Praise Him today. Lift up your heart, your voice, and your hands to Him. Reach up today to the one who is already reaching down to you, your Heavenly Father. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, I thank you for T.D. Jakes. I thank you for this book that he put together, this lesson. I thank you, Father, that we were able to travel through it together. I, Father, I, I, I pray right now that each of these men that are watching this video, I pray right now that you bless them, that you hold them up. And, Father, let their hands be free so that they can worship you. They can be set free from their mindsets, from their heart problems, from their issues that they've got going on in and around their life that they may walk in true freedom and they can experience your love and grace. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you on Monday as we start the Kingdom Man.